Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are again. We're inside of that little spot I dug out. Wall of project tables, we'll get to hit that soon. I uh, went and did some more uh, mining down in the cave, and I don't want to make anything into bars that I don't have to. So, like, this copper and tin I got out of chests. I went through the mine shaft a little bit. Which ended up yielding... I, I didn't even pick up this track. This came from chests. I'm not even kidding. And I got a lot of minium. I was looking into what that's for, and that is near cheaty. So, that is uh, equivalent exchange, as far as I can tell. But, we have some things to make. We have a redstone reception coil, which is redstone, gold, and redstone, like this. So we need one of these. This little guy goes here. And this is a machine frame, which is, as you see here, need him. These project tables are great. And that gives us a pulverizer. And I guess we'll put this guy right here. Um, I don't really need any of these outputs, and I don't really need to turn them off, but I'm turning them off anyhow, because seeing them on the machine when I don't need them bothers me. Now this guy can take up to four Minecraft jewels. I'm going to disable that just because that I don't so I don't accidentally turn off the machine. Now we're going to need a way to power this guy. So first we need two wood gears. Turn those into stone gears. And now we can put them with this guy, which is as you see here. So used a little bit, but now we have that. And I've got me a lever. So, I don't know how long this thing is going to run for. Let's see how much I can do off of one piece of coal. And go! That's going to take a little while. If it doesn't do at least... Well, this is the pulverizer. It's essentially doubling my ores. I suppose I can afford to give it things. I wonder how much it takes to do one ore. Actually, I think I could figure that out. Uh, uses. Melting, macerator, slag furnace. What? Grinder, assembly table, rock crusher, soul forge, powered furnace, pulverizer. 400 with a 10% chance of getting pulverized ferrous, which I actually went and got because I found out that I'm actually going to need that. Um, if I want to make an induction smelter, you see pulverized ferrous. Ooh, I can actually get shiny metal from that too, but that's not really needed, I don't think, in this pack. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyhow, you combine two pulverized iron with pulverized ferrous, and you get Invar Blend. And there's that thing being annoying again. Now, you smelt that, and you get an Invar ingot. Invar gear. But anyhow, induction smelter, which can be kind of used to skip the process of the pulverizer when making bars. S uh, the thing is, is it requires sand to go along with it to do such a thing. And I do want to make those one of those eventually. Oh, so that's what the Invar's for. Okay. I'm probably going to work off the magmatic engines eventually. What? Well, that's no good. Actually, it won't start one of those processes unless it has enough in order to complete it, so... That's not that bad. So, one coal to get... Basically do four ores, so that means the whole thing takes 16. But we double our output. I am fine with this. What am I doing? This goes in the engine. There we go. So, that'll give us a ton of iron to work with. Uh, more or less. So, the next thing... I w I'm just going to show you this. I was looking at what I can do with this stuff. Th the reason why I call this cheaty... Right? You make the minium stone. Well, what's that good for? And I'm assuming it's consumed. I'll go here, because the turtles. 
as you can see, there's a lot of pages of stuff you can do. Turn sticks back into planks, planks back into wood, gravel into clay. Here's what I was looking at. Two logs into an obsidian. That means that I could make a nether portal without mining obsidian and without doing all that other stuff. I just need to make a minium stone, which you make that, but you need the inert stone, gold. Something I've been lacking. Pulverizer will help with that a little bit, because as you can see, I've got some gold. But you can turn one diamond into four gold, or four gold into one diamond, so yeah, I don't know about Thalmcraft. It feels a bit cheaty. Just in my personal opinion. But, well, I guess I can't really do anything till I have more stuff. I made that machine, and that was a lot quicker than I intended. Here we go. I'll show you these plans. I made a piston plan, which means that I can easily just plop this in here to make pistons quick and easy, and this is blank. I'll probably assign it to something eventually, which it is just made with paper and indigo dye, which you get from uh, indigo flowers added by red power. Let's see if I can't get one. No. No. The handgun flower are you? A dragon, eh? Hmm. Light blue dye. Nifty. Go back down. Orange, white. Here we go. These are indigo flowers. You can use those to get indigo dye. And then if we go over here, which is why I have that little tiny reed farm there. Take the piece of paper and a dye. Bam. One blank plan. So you can use those to basically store the recipe for an item for use in the project table. So that's handy. And I noticed that I had gotten two buckets out of that uh, obsidian totem thing. So, that's interesting. But I've got plenty of coal. As you can see, I haven't used the fortune yet, because if I'm going to put it on anything, I'm going to put it on a diamond. Diamond? Diamond pick. So, yeah. That's my plan there. These engines only generate one MJ per tick. I should make more of them. Mm, and yeah. Got the pulverized iron. One, two, three, four. What? It's more than necessary. Three. Hurry up. If I'm going to use coal, I'm going to use it efficiently. And I know I need glass for many things, especially those machine frames. So I went and got some sand and made some glass right away. And you may notice this is the first time of me playing with uh, Minecraft music turned on. Hopefully that helps keep things uh, not really more interesting, but things always felt a little soundless to me. But there's no music I could really use. You know. Like, I realize I'm not uh, putting ads on my videos because I really don't care. I may not have a job and I may not have an income, but I still don't care. Because... Well, I, I don't, really. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Let's just use up this bone meal, because I can. So, the thing is, uh, let me just give you a glimpse into the idea for the future. What I can do is I can eventually make a pump. I'm sure there's some alternatives to this. What? There we go. Which, this isn't that hard to make. Realistically, I could make one of those right now, no problem. But it would still be a pain to power. But 
I wouldn't even use that mining well. I'd probably use the industrial craft one if I was going to do anything, and I'm trying to avoid industrial craft. But anyhow, you make a pump, right? And I can go and put it in the nether. Now, you may be wondering, well, how are you going to keep it powered and stuff? Uh, ooh, let me do this. Like this. See these things? These are cool. If you ever played... People are going to hate me for saying this. Tech it. There is teleport pipes. These are the thermal expansion equivalent of teleport pipes. Yeah, they're not cheap. That, I mean, look at this. Actually, it got cheaper. It used to take two pulverized obsidian to make two glass, and it only takes one now. Nifty. Very nifty. And of course, it's showing the recipe for every lead bar ever, and every type of... Anyhow, teleport for items, liquids, and energy. So I put one of these on the pump, and one of these on the pump... Which, by the way, each one of these takes uh, a thousand microbuckets, millibuckets, millibuckets. But one ender pearl only generates 250 when you melt it down in a magma crucible. Uh, let me see if I can actually get it to show that. Hello? No, it's not. It's not. Oh. These are liquid transposer recipes. Not what I'm looking for. But anyhow. Basically, there is a practically infinite amount of lava in the nether, and I can teleport it, make many, many magma, magmatic engines, make, uh, oop, what? Oh, it would help if I spelled it right. Make some of these guys, which, these are just as ridiculous, but... As you can see, they hold 600,000 Minecraft jewels. And it says send and receive 50, 100, but it's configurable for both values. And as you can see, those hold 600,000 apiece, and I only needed, what was it, 400 in order to break down one thing? Magmatic engines generate, I think, four Minecraft jewels each. And... The pumps, I think, can take up to 40. So, but, I mean, there is so much lava in the nether that it would go just forever. And you can technically make lava forever. Once you can power the engines, you can use those engines to turn netherrack into lava to power those engines. And... It's it's really cheaty. Because you can create infinite lava and infinite power at the same time. But don't want to do that. I want to get my lava from somewhere. Those mobs, they're going to try and kill me. I want to make my floor out of marble brick. I refuse to accept any other options. It must be marble brick. So, oh... So, I also want to slightly talk about something else. You may have noticed by now that there's also a, another series thingy that popped up on my channel. My nephew got a new computer for Christmas. Uh, the old one he had could barely run Minecraft and it would freeze a lot and whatnot. And he was like, when I get my new computer, I want to... I want to play Minecraft with you on, like, a map. Like, a map. So, we looked around and we settled on uh, Vex's Super Hostile number 14, Waking Up. Man. That is definitely a different experience from Gift Warped, but that's not what really makes things hard. Believe it or not, I feel as though when you're first starting out on a super hostile map, being in multiplayer makes it harder. Because you have to split everything. Well, you don't have to, but you do, because that's how things work. I feel terrible. I'm just sitting here 
mining away at some marble while talking about stuff. But anyhow, I have enough marble to do my floor, I'm sure. So, I should probably start making more machines. Hey. Oh, 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 oh god. Go away. Stored. Why Why are you storing power? Why would you be storing power? Oh, you're not. Okay. I see. I see. These Sterling engines aren't exactly the uh, greatest source of power. I think I want to make... Hello? I think I want to make at least one of these right away. Uh, oh, that's not that bad. I mean, I can go and get some lava. That's not a huge deal. But, man, these Invar ingots. I suppose I'm getting pulverized ferrous out of this. By chance. So. Eh. Here's the dealio. I'm not entirely sure how much... Uh, Minecraft jewels you get from one piece of coal and a sterling engine. Actually, I should, because it was, what, 400 times 4, so what's that, 1600? Whereas you get, I think, 16,000 Minecraft jewels from one bucket of lava and a magmatic engine. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, just, just, yeah. That's all I have to say. And then I've got quite a bit of tin. So what I could do is I could make a stack of uh, cells, empty cells. I really, really should have just considered making more of these, but that's all the gold I have. I'm going to need to get more. It's terrible. And I'm also going to need to get... I wonder... Pretty much all of these things have some kind of extra output. So that's shiny metal. Copper, doesn't that output gold by chance? Hello? Yeah, I have a 10% chance on every one of these ores to get gold. Silver... what, lead? Tin? Lead. Let me guess. Lead has a chance to give me silver. <laughs> Called that one. Um, what did I say? I didn't even look at tin, did I? Hello? Iron. So I can get iron from tin and... The short version of the story is... Well, first of all, this would be a lot faster if I could keep the power full. A.K.A. four Minecra Minecraft jewels per tick or one magmatic engine. Because the fuller the uh, power bar is, the faster the machine operates. Hmm. I don't believe this had... The last time I messed with these pulverizers, I don't think it had two slots here. I think that's a recent development. But... Oh, right. There we go. And... Ooh, iron. Uh, you know what? I need a better source of furnace. Whatever. Because I don't want to keep using the coal. Actually, I don't know why I don't want to keep using the coal, but I don't. Uh, you know what? Tell you what. I will be back with you after... After? After I pulverize all of these ores into oblivion. So, I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so, in the amount of time it took it to finish that stack of iron, I was able to go and get 32 lava cells. Because I had 10 tin bars in here, 
And apparently four tin bars gets you uh, four of these cells. Empty cell. Or 16, see? Four tin bars, 16. So I was like, oh, nifty. Because it used to be eight per every four. But 32 will keep me going for a while. So I made one silver bar, just not pulverizing it. So there is our transmission coil. That goes there. And I got another... I I only got one more invar pulverized invar out of the uh, iron that I ran through there at the time. What? I apparently made a mistake somewhere. Anyhow. Bam and bam. Uh, I will let this guy run through his cycle. As to not waste any more than I have to. Jeez, man, you're empty. How are you still running? Cease. Look at this crazy Sterling engine. How is it still running? It says power usage zero. It's not still running. Whatever. And levers are not necessary for magmatic engines. What? Does this no longer accept lava cells? What's going on here? Oh, great. Don't tell me I have to actually pump lava into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine. Ten. I am going to need a cactus. Or, or two. Two cactuses. Where am I going to find a cactus? Stop shutting the door in my face. It's dark out here. I no longer want to be out here. Uh, Liquid ducks are... Yeah. Kind of expensive. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, why, why you know? Can I just, oh, there we go. That's better. Now, as this heats up, uh, I was, kind of ran the math through, and assuming it still outputs the same amount of Minecraft jewels per lava, does this no longer need to heat up? This used to have a heat meter. Eh, it does need to heat up, you can tell by its... Wait, what? This is outputting 4, but this says that it's using not 4? Oh, right, because its usage depends on how high this bar is. Now, as this bar gets higher, you see this thing is going up. This is basically its efficiency meter. And once this gets... Because this, it's increasing the amount of power it's using based on how full that is. But as you can tell, this is already significantly faster than it was. Uh, how much, or how hard is it to make a hopper? That's not that hard, really. A chest, stone gear. Although, I may run out of uh, stone doing this. Basically, can I output directly into a chest? 
I forget. And ooh. If you're wondering where that steel axe came from, by the way, that was also in the mine shaft. I forgot to mention that because I completely forgot about it. Um, can you output? Yes, you can. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. One, two, three, four, five? I think that's how many it was. One, two, three, four, five. That looks right. And stone gear. Now, what this will allow me to do is I can put up to four different things in there. Why is it not ejecting the copper? Hello? Okay, it's working now. That was weird. There we go. And then... This is still gaining power slightly slowly. It's running at pretty much maximum efficiency now. Uh, once this guy gets down one more bucket... You can actually take more hoppers and put them on top and it will dump into the next hopper down when it it has the chance, but I think I need to set that to blue before it will accept from that direction. This is one of the things I really like about this versus uh, industrial craft stuff. You can visually see what is going to what side and change them as you need. Which I find to be amazing. Although I'm going to run out of lava. But this is roughly basically every uh, every lava is worth about 40 coal in terms of fuel efficiency if the numbers are still right from what I had seen. So... Wait, or was it 1600 power per coal? Right, it was 1600 power per coal. So it's worth 10 coal? But it does it at t four times whatever. It's faster. That's the important thing. Hi. Ooh, guy in iron armor. By the way, I got these gold boots off of a zombie in full gold armor. Oh, hold up. Uh, it's cool. Really? Did you hear him explode? Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, crap. Okay, the magmatic engine survived. All the fuel that was in it is gone. None of the important chests got exploded. Some of my floor is now gone, and my front door is missing. Awesome. And my wood is gone because it dropped on the ground before I died. God damn it.
Um, something like that. There's now... This is just... This is horrible. What a horrible development. I need to make this go away. I can't believe it destroyed my hopper. What a bastard. Hmm. Well then. I'm going to need to... I need a door. I need wood. I need... Why does it seem like some of my tools are missing? Yeah, some of my tools are missing. Actually, I'll... What? Did you see a creeper there? What? 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 I'm so confused. I have no idea what just transpired. I did not see a creeper. I'm so very confused. Well, great. Oh, I bet you I know where some of my tools went. When that creeper exploded after I died, right? It killed the zombie, which probably picked up my gear. Which then means that because he killed it and not me, the items weren't on the floor and they all disappeared. What a bastard. Creepers are a bunch of bastards. Nah. Oh well. Didn't lose anything too important. The axe was free. And the gemstone stuff is practically free. Why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, I didn't even get my food. The zombie stole my food. All the food. I have I have three sticks. I know what I'm gonna do with these three sticks. The first two, making an axe. And the next one is making a sword. Anakin seeds. I need those. And I need to hurry up and come up with a source of food. Which I can do. No. No. I'm looking for a certain kind of seed. Ah! Corn kernel. But I need wood. And I will get it from all these trees that I grew up here. Hmm. So, this episode ended up being slightly more eventful than I had previously anticipated. The loss of four buckets of lava doesn't really bother me. The loss of five iron and a couple other things and some wood doesn't really bother me either. So, he could have been worse. He could have left my chests... Content strewn all over the ground. He could have destroyed my pulverizer and my magmatic engine. Things could have been much worse than they were. I'm so very glad that they weren't, because that would have sucked. Okay. 
trees are my uh, source of wood for the moment, so I'd like to replant them. But I'm not getting any saplings. Hmm. My mouse was not functioning quite as well as it probably should have been. No, nope, I want you right there. Hmm. All I have to say is eventful. Okay, so I should be able to build my front door. I need to make a new hopper to simplify matters. Door. I need... Do I need anything else? I could use... Well, I need to make food. I need to make a hoe. Man, that zombie just had to go and screw everything up, didn't it? Now, I can make this somewhere. I'm going to do it over here near the water just because it's better that way. This might take a little while, huh? How's this for a source of food? The only problem with corn, in order to get like an ideal level of food content out of it, you need to cook it. Okay. Hopefully that is enough corn for a little while. 27? It'll do me for a bit. Only a bit. Um. Furnace. 1, 2, 3, 4. Tell you what. I'm going to get these things smelted. I think this episode's probably gone on long enough, so I will get back to you guys next time, and hopefully I should have things planned out a bit more. Um, definitely going to have it prepared for me to make some more machines, so I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.